Hey guys, I do my soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at iOS 14.4. This is the official final release. Of course, it's been out for a couple of days. And as per usual, I like to come back and share my personal experience with the software so far and talk about bugs and bug fixes. Now, in these follow-up videos, I also like to talk about the YouTube community poll where you guys provide some feedback on how the software has been working for you as well. And there's three major reasons why you need to update to iOS 14.4. We'll go over that here in this video. So let's just dive right in. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is bugs and bug fixes. There are about seven bugs that Apple should be addressing with this software, and I've experienced a few, and some of them have been fixed, starting with the lock screen. On the lock screen, I had an issue, and many users have reported as well. When swiping over to the right to reveal the camera, this would actually freeze the camera. You would actually have to unlock your iPhone, swipe up into the app switcher, close the app, and then unlaunch the camera once again. But right now, it looks like Apple has definitely addressed the lock screen camera issue on iPhone 12 and older iPhones as well, because this was an issue with other devices as well, such as iPhone XR, the iPhone XS, and other users have reported on this. So the lock screen bug for the camera freezing definitely looks like it's been fixed with 14.4, so great news there. Now there's a minor stutter when going into the app switcher, closing applications, unlocking your device. Uh, many users have reported that this has been addressed. I haven't encountered this issue as well, so the second bug, Apple looks to be addressed rest as well on 14.4 on the latest devices and on newer devices or older devices as well. So yeah, that's definitely great news. It looks like two bugs right out of the gate appear to be fixed with this software. However, there's another bug that's been plaguing iPhone users since iOS 14.3 and even 14.2, and that is the text message notifications not being delivered. And some users just continue to report that their text message notifications are not appearing properly on their devices. Some users say that this has been fixed, but others report that the iPhone will receive the notifications, but rather show the phone number of that contact instead of the name, even if you have that person listed as a contact on your phone. So it's kind of fixed, not really. We'll have to continue to see if Apple will improve on this, and hopefully the next major software update will just completely fix this for everyone. So text message notifications, sort of fixed for most users as well. Next, I want to talk about the battery because, of course, a battery is very, very important. I do want to talk about standby time on newer devices. Starting with that, it has been great. Some users did report that standby time was kind of iffy on 14.3. It appears that Apple has definitely addressed this with 14.4. I haven't seen any reports on this lately, and I haven't encountered any issues with standby time in regards to battery. Now for newer devices, all day battery life is back. It looks like Apple has definitely addressed this issue for the newer devices. I have no complaints on iPhone 12 and 12 Pro Max, which is the main two devices that I'm currently using right now. However, for older devices, it's an entirely different story. So if you have an iPhone SE first generation that you're using on 14.3, and on 14.4, standby time and all day battery life is simply not there. So there's a major issue there on the first generation SE. Same thing translates over to the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. The battery is just really not good. It just continues to be an issue. Many of you continue to report about this and iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users as well. So unfortunately, the battery for older devices, I want to say iPhone 7, 7 Plus and below, just continue to be a major issue. Now, if you haven't watched my coverage on this particular situation, I'll link it in the description where I show how you can drop maybe three to four percentage on just watching one single video. And that's definitely just not usable battery, especially again on the older devices, not the newer ones. So let's move on to the network performance. Now, I was having issues with the 5G speeds on the iPhone 12 and other devices. Other users have reported this issue as well. It looks like Apple somewhat has addressed this for most users. I continue to have issues with 5G speeds, but they have improved slightly. So I think this has more to do with your carrier, your region, depending on where you're at. Uh, but right now, the iPhone 12 just isn't really delivering the speeds that I was hoping for, but I saw a slight improvement on 14.4 and many other users have as well. Now, in terms of Bluetooth, I'm really happy with the Bluetooth connection on 14.4. Finally, it looks like Bluetooth is working 
as intended. I've been testing this over and over and it looks like Apple definitely, definitely fixed the Bluetooth issue, at least for these devices that I'm testing right now. Now, when it comes to the green tint display issue, this is an issue that some users have reported, especially on iPhone 12 and 12 Pro Max, where their display will show sort of a greenish tint on it. I haven't encountered this issue, so I can't say much about it, but I haven't heard as many reports on this latest software. If you did have that issue where you saw a green tint on your display of the iPhone 12 or 12 Pro Max, I would like to hear from you to see if that still persists on the latest 14.4. Now, for those of you that do not know, there's new feature for HomePod Mini alongside the iPhone. The software update is available. If you do have the HomePod Mini, you can check that out. There's new handoff for music and visual and audios. There's new haptics when you hold your iPhone next to the HomePod. It's a really cool feature. When you walk by the HomePod, there's also a new feature that allows the iPhone to show you the media controls if you want to control the music on it and custom playlist and notifications can now be delivered from the HomePod minis as well with the latest 14.4 update for HomePod as well. So overall, it looks like the software is improving on the overall user experience. Let's head on over to the YouTube community poll because this gives us a bigger picture, right? This, everyone votes, everyone shares their thoughts, and you can come back to these YouTube community polls on a weekly. And the question this week was, of course, how is iOS 14.4 working for you? There's about 12,000 votes approximately on this one. And a 50% of you guys say you're having a great experience so far with 14.4, which is a good thing out of 12,000 votes there. Now, a 12% of you guys do say that it is an improvement. Some of you are still experiencing some bugs. So a 9% of you guys, 4% of you guys are having a definite bad experience with the software. And a 25% of you guys are just not running the latest update. Now, if you have an older device and you're not running this update and you're on 14.2, for example, I'd recommend you stay there at least for now. Now, if we take a look at the most popular comments here, it says performance is good, but Apple should definitely focus on battery optimization. Definitely agree. And most of these comments do have to do with the battery. The second one here, iPhone XR users continue to have issues with the notifications not being delivered or showing properly on the iPhone XR and other iPhones as well. So that's another popular one there. And as you can see right here, there's definitely issues with the battery, battery drain, battery health. You can see there's still battery issues, draining's too fast. So pretty much most comments that you see here have to pertain to the battery on iPhone 7, iPhone SE, iPhone 6S, the 6S Plus. And you can come back, as I mentioned, weekly after a new beta or new software update. You can read some of the comments and see if you're experiencing some of the issues that others are as well. You can vote and express your thoughts as well. So the main concern here is battery for most users. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's three major things that will entice you or should entice you to update to 14.4, and that is iOS 14.4 security patches. Now, this is super, super important. There's been three vulnerabilities found, one in kernel and two for WebKit. Now, the first one here in this one will allow a third party or a malicious application to elevate privileges. So if you install an application that may have malicious intentions, it could gain privileges and I guess it can hack your device in some cases, depending on what Apple is referring exactly to this right here. So this is the CVE right there, 2021-1782. And this one is a malicious application may be able to elevate privileges. So if you want to keep your device safe, of course, you may want to update to the latest software update. And the WebKit, there's two here, as you can see there. The first impact, most devices, as you can see right here on 14.4, a remote attacker may be able to cause arbitrary code execution. And Apple has been made aware of this. And this is even worse because this is remote. And a remote attack means that it can be sent uh, over a message. It can be sent just simply over the web. And it's definitely something that you want to protect yourself from. Apple has definitely looked into two of these uh, that appear to be active on iPhone on 14.3. So two remote attacks and one for the kernel that definitely were impacting the security of iPhone have definitely been addressed 
on 14.4. So if security is important to you, obviously it is for most of us, you definitely want to update your iPhone to the latest 14.4 to avoid any exploitation of your device by an accident, maybe through an application as mentioned by Apple or just remotely at all, which is even worse. And there you guys have it. That about brings it into this video. This is my follow-up. Make sure to subscribe for more cool content in this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.